What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to keep you posted about a brand new update we have received for the Galaxy phones as well as all the other Android phones. I'm talking about the latest Google Play system update. Now this update did arrive a few days ago. I was traveling, I couldn't make a video and post this, but there may be many of the viewers on the channel who wouldn't have updated the phone yet. So this video will help you do that. But before we go ahead, if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application Volvers, do go ahead and check out the link in the description. There are some amazing collections and almost every day we keep posting new wallpapers so that you don't get bored of it. But in the last few days, I haven't been consistent because I was traveling, but going forward, you will see brand new wallpapers almost every day. We've got a free version which runs with ads and we also have a pro version where you can get rid of the ads and unlock all these amazing collections on the wallpaper application. Go ahead, the Volvers wallpaper app link is in the description. Now let's go ahead, let's go to the settings and I'll tap on uh, security and privacy. Here it is. Then let's tap on updates. Now at the moment, as you can see, the security patch update is still September 2025 for the S25 series. We haven't got the update for the uh, October yet, but the Google Play system update, you can see, I have already updated this and installed it. This is the latest September patch that we have for Google Play system. Now, why is this update so important? Let me take you through the release notes of Google Play system update so that you know what has changed. We've got some changes in the device connectivity. For phone with this feature, you can join audio sharing through FastPair and you can now restore data from your fully managed device after you set up your new device. And as far as the security and privacy is concerned, you will now get an improved text description for shared location. And then comes the system management for both phone and TV, minor UI improvements for play games, profile creation flow, for phone and Android Auto, you can now autofill and save wallet valuables like loyalty cards, flight codes, and promo codes. This may be applicable in some regions. Then we have got Google Contact Sync settings can now upgrade your backup and sync from device contacts to include both device and SIM contact. And then we have got Google Play Store update which is the latest version v48.2. With this update, we've got this brand new U-Tab, a curated destination on Play where you can more deeply engage with the topics you care about most. When you open the Play Store, you will see U-Tab right here at the bottom right. You can tap on that to check out all your gaming profile. As you can see, this is a brand new cool looking layout we have got. Build your streak. It says play games for more than five minutes a day to build your streak here. Then track your play time. You can see uh, you will be able to track the play time of each game here and it is depicted in different colored bars here which looks pretty amazing. And then recently played games are here. Unlock your next achievement, event and offers and a few other options that we have got. This is a brand new tab with this new Google Play system update we have got. In fact, this update was released on Google Play Store a few days ago. And we also have this public profile and follow feature. You can now follow other players to view their profile and gaming activity and share your profile with your friends. That is pretty cool. If you are a gamer, you're gonna love this feature with this all new update. You can now find the latest community YouTube videos for select games. And if at all you're new to Google Play, you can select your interests across categories to get instant personalized recommendations and here is something important you can now find and manage Google Play games for Windows through Play Store on your Android phone. Next we have got the latest Google Play services v25.37 let me show you that let's go to the settings here I'll tap on Google services here and here you can see we've got all services and here I'll tap on system services. You can see we have got all these applications up to date. We've got Google Play services, Android system intelligence, etc. all are updated right here. If you haven't updated this, go ahead and check this out and update it on your device. All you need to do is go to the settings, tap on Google services and tap on all services and tap on system services here. This is where you'll find some additional updates if available in, uh, in your region on your phone. Next, we have got some bug fixes as well uh, for device connectivity for phone as well as Wear OS, bug fixes for device connections related services. Then you can now find information about new Android features on support page. And we do have some additional changes here as you can see. Now these are some important changes and features that we have got with this all new Google Play system update. And hence, this is a very critical information, a very useful update which every month we get from Google. In fact, uh, for the October month, already the update is available for the Pixel phones, but for the other Android phones, these updates are always delayed by at least a month, at least by one version, and that's how it goes every month. 
Now let me know whether you have already updated your phone or not. Drop a comment. I know I'm a bit late to update you guys with this particular update, but yes, if you haven't updated it yet, go ahead, download it, install it on your phone. That's about it. Hope you have already downloaded our wallpaper application Wallvers. Go ahead and do that. And uh, while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.